Jojo in the morning family, how in the whole wide world are you doing? I hope you are having a super, super good day. Hey, a lot of people have been messaging me about our mentoring program, and I will let you know what we do. You can actually, in the description box below, there's a place that says mentoring. You can click. We offer a mentoring group, and what that basically is, we have a Facebook group that I post two videos a week, um, a lot of motivational scripture things in there, and also we offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, about two calls a month to help you move forward and advance. If you want some one-on-one -on -one training coaching, I would absolutely love to help you in your ministry, your life, your business, whatever it may be. Uh, my wife and I are committed to people who want to run with us. That link is in the description box below. Now let's get into this family. I got something that I really, really want to share with you today. I absolutely love this scripture because it encourages people, but it also sparks them forward. I felt the Lord told me years ago that everything that I'm supposed to do to help people is supposed to help them to move forward and to advance, okay? Those are two of the things. People say, what do you do? I said, I help people move forward and I help people advance in life, okay? 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. Now, here's this first part. We all experience times of testing, okay? We all experience times of testing. Nobody in life has ever went through life, had an easy life, and it just, there was no testing. Okay? That's what the word says. And then it says, which is normal for every human being. Okay? Everybody goes through testing. So, when you're going through something, understand it's just part of life. And honestly, you don't get better in the good times. You get better and stronger in the warfare testing seasons, okay? And it says, but God will be faithful to you. He will screen and filter the severity, nature, and timing of every test or trial that you face so you can bear it. And each test is an opportunity to trust him more. Everything you go through, every situation, circumstance is an opportunity for you to trust him more. For along with every trial, God has provided for you a way of escape that will bring you out of what you're going through victoriously. And so whenever I'm talking to people, I'm like, well, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be made free? Do you want your finances to turn around? Do you, do you want your marriage to get better? And I'm going to, you're not going to believe this because I don't believe this. You would not even imagine when I ask people that question, they really don't believe it can turn around. That's why I read that scripture right there. Every warfare, every trial, every test, every tribulation, every situation, every circumstance can turn around for the favor of God and for you, the beloved children of God, to walk in a freedom. See, this is how we grow. This is how we grow, Jojo in the Morning Family. We are always going through stuff and we're always advancing, we're always growing. Like let's say that, that you work at a corporation and you start off a little person on the totem pole and you just keep working up. You just keep working up. You, you learn more, you learn more, you learn more, you learn more. Sometimes you have to take extra classes, extra training, um, maybe some extra schooling, whatever it may be, but you have to be recertified. You're always going through stuff, okay? Um, I remember when my my bride and I were going to get our marriage certificate, and I remember we, we walked in, and, and that lady was like, y'all seem like you got good heads, good head on your shoulders. And we said, well, yes, you know, talked a little bit. She said, most people don't. Some of these young kids come in here and say, we're going to have the perfect marriage. We'll never have an argument. We'll never. She said, you know, those are the ones that are always getting divorced in the first six months. 
And, and, and she said, the thing is, y'all are coming into marriage knowing that you are going to be two single people coming together, raised from different sets of parents, thinking differently, and and that y'all have a good head on your shoulders because they have to ask us questions, that y'all are going to maneuver through this and have a successful marriage. And we did. So, and we do. So in life, you can't have the mindset that, oh, I got the perfect job. I I'm never going to have a problem at work. You go to a school, you're going to have a problem. I mean, it's just there, okay? And the people who do not think that they are going to are actually disagreeing with that scripture. Every human being, the word says, is going to go through things. But the thing you must understand is you're going to learn. You're going to grow. Listen, make sure you don't have to take the test over and over and over again until you pass. Make sure when you're going through a testing period that you learn from it and you move forward and advance. You know, I think uh, the Dawson family, we've written, I think, 15 books. And so, first one took a while. Second one took a little bit. Third got a little bit shorter. But we learned the process of how to do it. And as we learn the process on how to do it, it got easier every time. But every time there was a different difficulty in doing anything. You know, you can be having church services for 20 years. Every service, there's something else that may come up. Um, especially if you're in a charismatic Pentecostal church. <laughs> um, and so in, in life, it, it happens, you know. I was talking to a young friend of mine the other day. They're about 65. And they were like, man, I got this physical infirmity. And, and I said, yeah, you know, I know you do, but remember when you had this? Yeah, we came through. Remember when you had this? Yeah, and you came through. Remember when you had this? You came through. Yeah. I said, this is going to be another come on through for Jesus. We're, we're going to come on through. We're going to be okay. We, we're going to keep rolling. It, it's going to be good. And so don't get down and don't get frustrated and don't say, oh, where's God when you go through something? He Listen, he will never leave you or forsake you. He will never leave you or forsake you. And the scripture that I just said, he's not going to let it overtake you. Don't let your mind be overwhelmed with, the, with, with what you're going through. Remember that God is greater than any struggle you're going through. Any bad doctor's report, every, any financial situation, okay? I'm telling you, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And you're going to make it through. Okay, hope this helped you today. Hope it encouraged you today. You know, I want you to understand something. This Bible, this book right here is sharper than any two-edged sword. When you're going through a test, you put a scripture on it. And that scripture can slice and dice and puncture whatever you're going through. The word of God is a weapon. And this weapon of mass destruction will break you out of anything, anything that you're going through. Never go through something that you're not standing on the word. When you're standing on the word, you will be able to get through anything, okay? Love you guys. You want prayer? Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact button. Hit it. There's a place for prayer. Send me your prayer requests. I want to pray for you. Love you guys.